Welcome back to an in-depth playthrough of Pathways into Darkness. Today we'll be playing Lock and Load, which is at an elevation of 2.7 meters. Never Stop Firing was at the same height. 2.7 meters is about 8.8 .8 feet. That's a pretty short um, height between floors. The phrase Lock and Load is mostly US slang for preparing a weapon for battle and it originates from at least as far back as 1793. Alright, so let's take a look at this map. So we're starting off at this um, top save from ground floor. In the last video, we went to never stop firing up on the right side to get this yellow crystal, but now we'll be going up to lock and load. So when we come up to lock and load, there's two closed doors that will open when we go up to them. First off, we're going to go to this right, we're going to grab this ammo, grab this emerald, and talk to this soldier over here. Then we'll save and we'll be able to come back around, go through this path all the way around, and talk to Gunther. After we talk to Gunther, we'll whoop around and come back and end up on the save rune and end the mission. Now, over here by Gunther, there's a couple headless and the zombie in this closed room with the door is closed, which won't open unless you go close to it. So you can just avoid opening this door and avoid those few guys because there's nothing in there. Also on this side, if you go down, if you go down this right path, um, this door will open from open and then it will lock behind you and you'll have to fight all these guys and get, um, one Walther ammo for that. And so this really isn't worth it. So we're just gonna skip this. So here we are on the mission and we're just gonna blow through this real quick. So here we're gonna go to the right. Oh, he shot right away. He was ready. <laughs> what do you know? There's a lot of guys right here. We're definitely going to take some hits here because you end up fighting quite a few zombies and so not taking hits and using your knife can be a little, a little tricky. Especially if they shoot as the doors opening, like that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, they're all like hitting me, they're, they're attacking in sequence, they got this planned out. I'm going to go ahead back here. I'm gonna save it like right here. This guy had his spawn right there. Trying to rest. Alright. We got him taken care of, so let's continue on. There's more ammo in this rock right behind this rock. Or rubble or whatever it is. It's probably both. I'm not sure how I missed that missed me. Or how that knife didn't hit him. <laughs> What's up guys? I see that right there they when I right when I came in the door they were kind of skating backwards. That's kind of an issue with the Alphorn port. In the original um, game they didn't do that back stuff. They're not supposed to be. Got him. Here's an emerald. There's emerald taken. We got another point. Now you can see on the top left we have four out of 41 points. And at the top right we have now have a maximum hit points of eight. Um our hit points was at 5.1 out of six before we picked it up, so we don't get those two hit points right away. So we rest. Um we look at the item description for this emerald. It says you don't notice anything interesting about the emerald. The official hint book just says pretty, pretty, and green. So not much about this. So we're going to go ahead and take this, put this in our canvas bag. Put it in our canvas bag because we don't need it. And then we're going to continue on. Oh, hey there. 
Pretty sure this guy spawned. Oh, there's one of these guys in this room. Alright, so we have another German soldier here. There's some ammo right here. Got 16 magazines. We're doing pretty good. We get a bunch more magazines right here. We're up to what? 22? Okay. Let's have a chat with this German. You should know that the game pauses whenever you're talking to the Germans. Anyways. This German says, I'm cold. So cold. This German actually doesn't say a lot. He only responds to a couple words. He'll respond to name. Just says, I don't remember. I'm so cold. And he also responds to death. Death is so cold and lonely. I can't recall anything. I believe this guy's um, dialogue is after actually a reference to Joseph Heller's book named Catch-22. In that book, Snowden repeats the words, I'm cold, I'm cold, over and over during his death scene. Um, his This book is a classic, and it was originally published in 1961, and was adapted as a movie in 1970. Catch-22 was also adapted as a six-episode Hulu original TV series in 2019. So feel free to check that out. I watched the movie and it was interesting. It's not like... I feel like the book is probably better, although I haven't read it. But I have not checked out the Hulu original TV series, so... That's something worth checking out. This guy has a bunch of dialogues that are from the demo A1 version. He will say the following. It's so cold here on the floor, and so lonely. I came with a large group of people. We were looking for something. I can't remember what. I was never sure. They never told me. It was something for the war. Something powerful. I was never very smart to begin with. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Some people I knew from back home. My friends, I guess. I don't remember them. I don't remember when. In the spring, I think. I used to have friends. I wonder what happened to them all. There were 15 of us. Sometimes I think of home. Other times I can't remember it. Let's talk about something else. Our country was fighting someone. I don't remember more. There was the headless beast. I don't want to think about it. My friends called me Claude. I think. I don't remember my last name. Mueller. The name is familiar. I remember disliking him intensely. There's a few things we can um, learn from the demo A1 dialogue. First, based on the demo dialogue, he was originally going to be called Claude. There is a soldier that will be named Claude that we will meet later in the game on the floor, Evil Phantasms Must Die. This lost demo dialogue also indicates that the Germans were looking for something very powerful that this particular German didn't really understand. What could they have been looking for? Perhaps we will find out. This German also mentions in the demo dialogue that he was in a group of 15 Germans in total. In the final game, there are actually 15 Germans that we will come across. Alright, back to the game. We'll continue on, so we're gonna cut back all the way to the start. Well, let's save it right here first. We can go ahead and rest. All right, let's continue on. All the way back to the beginning of this. And you do not move very fast. So it takes a little while. All right, here we are. Headless is gonna shoot us and walk down. All right, there's a bunch of headless that come from all angles here. 
I'm just gonna let him come towards me a little bit. Eh, got a little unlucky with some of the attacks. Some ammo in here. Back of this room. Thank you very much. Up to 23 megs. Alright. Okay, so this is an interesting corner. So in this back room back there, there's quite a few of this. We're just gonna come up to here and let them come to us. Because if we open that door, there's some more headless. Now they're just gonna come into line for us. There is another one in there. I feel like it kind of almost. Oh, well, let's just. Open. There he is. We'll just let him come. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. Alright, we're not gonna worry about that area for now. We're just gonna continue on and go talk to soldier over here. There's another save. This is that door that just has some enemies behind it with nothing in that room, so we're gonna ignore that door. And this door is towards our German friend. There he is, and there's also some of this in this room we can take out real quick. Go. There's some ammo right here. Usually there seems to be ammo near the guys. So we'll just take his ammo. Got 30 megs now. Let's have a chat with him. You handled that P4 well for a foreigner. This guy also has an unused um, dialogue which says, Hello again. I hope your P4 is still working well. If not, take mine. So it makes me think that was supposed to be the reintroduction dialogue. But if you come back to him, as a, you, I'll show you, he won't actually use that dialogue. He just says the same thing over. So I don't know if that's a glitch in the game or if Bungie did that intentionally. I don't know. But he talks about, it says foreigner. So let's ask him about foreigner. It's obvious from the way you talk that you're not from Germany or even Europe. You must be from the States. We can ask him about States. You have a Yankee accent. So it's kind of interesting because, you know, obviously he doesn't know English. Or at least you wouldn't think he does because it's Germany. But he can recognize that we have an accent, a Yankee accent. So he recognized, you know, what, what we sound like, which is it's just interesting because we're talking in different languages. Anyways, so we also mentioned a P4. Hens was in charge of carrying most of our ammunition because he couldn't shoot straight. He wasn't with the group when they came back. If you can't find him, ask him what he did with all of it. So what exactly means when he says he wasn't with the group when they came back? I am a little confused on exactly what he's trying to say. In the demo A1 dialogue, the second sentence was actually different. It says, if you can find him, ask him about magazines. He was going to cash a few somewhere. So, I don't know why they changed the dialogue, but whatever. We can ask him what his name is. My name is Gunther, I think. It's so hard to remember things with so much time alone to think. He also mentioned the word think. It's horrible. Being conscious, but deprived of nearly all your senses like this. I wonder how long it will last. Alright, then we can ask him about his death. 
I was leading a group of four men, and we stumbled upon five of those long-tongued monsters. Hans and Barons ran, and I died trying to give Joachim time to escape. He was wounded. So first off, he says he was leading four men, which suggests that this guy Gunther was some sort of leader, or a, he was a captain or something. Alright, let's ask him about this monster. Those headless things disgust me. There were so many of them after a while that we started killing them with our knives to conserve ammunition. The zombies were a different story. I tell us about the zombie. The only way to stop the zombies is to shoot them until they dissolve. Alright, let's ask him about his team. So we'll ask him about Barons. I don't remember Barons very well. He mostly kept to himself. What about Joachim? Joachim and I were good friends. I hope he made it out. It doesn't say much about him either. Let's ask him about Mueller. Nobody liked Mueller. I was no exception. He didn't even tell us why we were here. I hardly even know where I am. So once again, he doesn't, this guy doesn't like Mueller either. Now, if you ask him like, what, he has a few phrases. You say, I don't follow you. I don't understand. What do you mean? One more. Say that again. Um, those are just his dialogues for mispronounced words and whatnot. And it seems kind of random. I don't know how exactly you get these words. He has a few dialogues from demo A1 that did not appear in the final game. And here they are. Well, the flatterer is back. First, you flattered me. Now you flatter yourself. I don't like people like you. Sorry, I didn't know what kind of person you were. I don't like people like you. Maybe so, I doubt it though. That was impressive. How was your ammunition holding out? So apparently there's some um, jokes that were being planned for Gunther to talk about with the probably showing off the um, your skills with a wall through people. I don't know. Anyways, that's all that Gunther has to say. So we're going to continue on. And go to the top of the map and save it by that ladder. We can just save it here. It's kind of running back to that door on that side that we opened, which is right here. Door. And there's a bunch of headless right here. One right in here. Or actually two. Right. I think there's... Yeah, there's an ammo in these bones. I didn't kind of see it right there. A couple headless right here we can kill. Alright, then that's that path to that. Uh, those um, closed doors with a bunch of enemies and one magazine. Totally not worth it. Alright, so we can here. I think there's nothing in that room. Go this way. Couple closed doors. We're going this closed door to the left. Is there some ammunition in here? We oh, not missing. That was bad. Nuts of you to hit your friend for me. Thank you. I appreciate. It. But there is some ammo in here. It was right here in this corner. I just walked over it. All right, then we go in the other door and we'll get to the save and ladder. First, we gotta kill a few headless. Wow, I'm hurting now. I'm just gonna quick. There's some ammo um, behind this rock. 
and we'll just save it or rest right here okay and then we'll save it and we'll be ready for the next um level they may be slow next time thanks for watching